today we're going to talk about what factors could be taken in consideration while you choose a front-end framework for your project. In our previous videos of this front-end framework series, we talked about the significance of choosing the right front-end frameworks and I hope that must give you all a push into looking for more about front-end development. But now that you are interested in front-end framework development, you must have realized there's a lot of frameworks out there and how to choose what's best for you among those frameworks. We're not as I am here to help you all with that too. And today we'll be talking about how to go about choosing the right framework and the factors that should be given in consideration while selecting the front-end framework for your projects. The most popular the frameworks, the wider it its community will be, and having a big community a click away can help with a lot of problems that may arise during your projects. Another thing a popular framework can help with is hiding. The more popular the framework, bigger the talent pool will be, which makes hiding easy for projects at scale. Go for in-depth comparison of the features between the framework of your choice and other alternatives as well. Read out the documentation and look out for their set of features. If you have experience with another web front-end frameworks, this step will be easy for you to help compare. Find out if the framework has sufficient support and functionality for the state management template, form processing, HTTP communication, validation, and etc. A framework is considered rich if it contains all essential features to support your projects. To know about the usability of a framework, you will have to indulge with it. Reading and research can only do so much, so go on and try it out and be comfortable with its functionality. Explore the CLIs, libraries, and plugins supported by the frameworks. Use them in smaller project experimentation and experience the IDE and TypeScript. And try out every possible framework feature before starting your web development. Another factor to consider can be customizable front-end frameworks that can help you to configure your upcoming web projects. Look out for components, way, and other functionality you intend to seek from your project. No matter how feature-rich it's a framework, you might have to choose one. You might still need to facilitate your project with additional tools and libraries. In such a scenario, having a flexible framework is imperative to integrate well. Several libraries focus on DOM manipulation, formatting time, data processing, and read text editing. As you want to combine all such functionality within your project, your framework should be capable to significant integration process. And when we talk about server-side rendering, most of your customers are going to be Bobo users for sure, and hence server-side rendering is unscapable. If content drives your website, then your front-end framework has to support server-side rendering. Otherwise, your customer will be shared due to the low search engine ranks. Most of your customers browse your website from a mobile device. Anyway, mobile development is essential in this current age, so opt for the best front-end frameworks that contains easy and options for mobile application development for your business. A digital web presence will be stronger than ever in the future. Hence, make sure that the front-end framework you choose has an exceptional future scope in all manager of support, maintains community and the never and the new version with upgrades. And that's it for today. Don't forget to tune in to part three of this video series where we will be talking about the best framework to improve your chance of getting success. Until then, keep practice and work hard towards your dream career. Stay tuned for the next video. I will be back very soon. If you have any queries, feel free to read us out at support at and subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed already. See you then.